good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we are looking at another one of the Battle Chatelaine ladies. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. They have been revealed over on the official Japanese website, so it's time we had a little bit of a gander. As suspected... We see that GX Ultra Shiny is largely a reprint set, so that does mean that there aren't that many new cards to go through. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I will make very well sure that we do all the new cards in their entirety. We won't be looking at most of the reprints because we've already looked at those and I don't want to waste your time. I respect you guys. Now, my translation here actually comes from Google Translate, but before I post the video, I will just check with David to make sure I'm right about this, but it seems pretty gosh darned clear. So we're starting off today looking at Battle Chatelaine Dana, or as I like to call her, the one with the loopy hair at the end, and it only works if there is a Stage 2 Pokemon as your opponent's active. But if there is, you can search your deck for any two cards and put them into your hand. This is wonderful. But it is only to be used when your opponent has a stage two in the active. Otherwise, it's kind of borderline broken. Well, I mean, it is. It's an amazing card. It's search for any two cards. And we've seen supporter cards that let you search for any two cards before. So... We had Twins a little while ago. That was in the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. It was released in Triumphant. You could only play it if you were behind in the game, if you had more prize cards remaining than your opponent, but then you got to search for any two cards. Slower decks, setup decks, things like Magnazone decks would want to fall behind by a prize, because then as soon as you fell behind by a prize, you went and searched for a rare candy Magnazone, and then you had the Magnazone that let you draw until you had six cards in your hand, and you were golden. And then a little while later, we had teammates. And yeah, they were similar enough that on more than one occasion, I called teammates twins on an official stream. My apologies. And you could only use this if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. And then you got to search for any two cards and put them into your hand. Now, this was awkward because people got confused by the rulings. If something like a Decidueye GX used Feather Arrow to KO a Pokemon, then there was a Pokemon KO'd during your opponent's last turn, and that was fine. But if someone KO'd you through Poison, for instance, the Poison actually comes in and gets the KO between turns, meaning you couldn't use it, and yes, that did come up in very high-level games, in top cuts, etc. So... Please don't think that never happened. <laughs> that definitely happened. <laughs> I mean, even recently we got Steven's Resolve. And Steven's Resolve is a great card. You get to search for any three cards. That's better than two. The problem is you can only use it if you're willing to end your turn. And there's even a Metagross that was printed in Celestial Storm that if it's in the active allows you to use Steven's Resolve without ending your turn. Although, ironically, having a Metagross in the active would mean that your opponent would be able to use Dana here without ending their turn. If I call Dana by the wrong name here, please forgive me. I'm not that familiar with the Battle Chatelaine ladies' individual names. I'm sorry if I get it wrong. I promise you I don't hate you. In fact, if you're watching this video, I happen to be rather fond of you. So we know that searching for any two cards is good. The question is whether this is too awkward to actually play. One combo which has been seeing a lot of love in Japan at the moment is Alolan Volpix with Alolan Ninetales. You see, when we use these kind of cards to search for any two cards, one of the best uses for it is search for a rare candy in a Stage 2. Stage 2 Pokemon are pretty much always good, or at least better than the equivalent Stage 1s. That's not to say every Stage 2 is better than every Stage 1, but it is to say that something like a Decidueye will often be more powerful than your average Stage 1 GX. But you've got to get the whole rare candy stage 2 or take 3 turns to evolve and it's a pain. The thing is, we don't need that kind of thing anymore. So Alolan Volpix has Beacon for 0 energy, lets you search for 2 Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. 
Well, nowadays with N gone away, as we've talked about in a bunch of videos, it's harder for your opponent to disrupt your hand. So what you do is you search for a stage 2 and an Alola Ninetales, and the new Alola Ninetales has the great ability whereby when you evolve into it, you get to search your deck for two item cards and put them into your hand. And one of them will be a rare candy. So you can essentially use Alolan Volpix to guarantee you get the turn 2 stage 2. Going second because you can't use Beacon going first. So actually there is an argument here that Dana is a card that we don't need so much. The other thing that we do need to mention is that it's only usable if your opponent has a stage 2 in the active. And it's not like you can just play a Guzma to bring them into the active... Because, well, if you use a Guzma to bring it into the active, well, that's your supporter for the turn. So, that's a little bit awkward. Because now you can't use Dana, but because you've used a supporter for the turn. Now, maybe you can play an escape rope if your opponent only has stage twos on the bench. And custom catcher is a gusting effect straight away, no coin flip or anything but only if you play two at the same time. And one of the best ways to get this working is using Alolan Ninetales. And don't get me wrong, right? Dana is better than Alolan Ninetales. The effect is more powerful. However, y you can't always use it. The thing is, right, if you're playing something like Custom Catcher, Custom Catcher is going to be good regardless. But the problem is you then have to have both Custom Catcher and Dana in hand at the same time. And even that is when your opponent has a stage 2 on the bench. Now, if we look at something like the recent regional in Memphis, Tennessee, it happened this month, and it had almost 800 players, so this is a pretty good test. And if we look at the top 8, there was a Rayquaza Vikavol in top 8. That was the only stage 2 that was in top 8, and unfortunately, even then... It's a support Pokemon. Vikavolt is not likely to be in the active. So you can use something like a Custom Catcher to bring it into the active. But then you've got to have something like a Custom Catcher and a Dana, which is a little bit of a pain. We saw that a Magnazone deck came in 36th. Yay! And we do see occasionally that Metagross and Solgaleo decks do see a little bit of play, yet it's weird that so many of the Stage 2s that are seeing kind of fringe success all happen to be Metal. Huh. And the good news is that Metagross and Solgaleo decks will at least attack with the Stage 2. I just think it's not that likely they're going to have a Stage 2 in the active. So what we have here is an effect which has been proven to be great, that we know is incredibly good, but we just don't know if it's going to end up being too awkward to actually use. Now, we did look at Morgan the other day. And Morgan, when you discard the other three Battle Chatelaine ladies, you've got to have all four of these in your hand at the same time. You then get to look at the top 12 cards of your deck. And then attach as many energy as you like that you find there. So, maybe there is a Battle Chatelaine supporter line we're playing here. But this card, on its own merits, gets free Wossies. It is a great, great card. But you're just not often going to be able to use it. And if we ever end up in a format where a lot of Stage 2 attackers are being played, then you play this as a one-off. You search it out using something like Tapu Lele or Makago, which make it very easy to find at the right time. And it becomes a phenomenal card. But I just showed you the results... Well, I showed you some, told you the rest, of the latest big regional. And there just aren't stage two attackers at the moment. You get the odd stage two support Pokemon. But even then, you're looking at a stage two support Pokemon. You've got to try and get it in the active. The Battle Chatelaine cards are very interesting. There's no doubt about that. But I am getting the feeling they're going to be a bit too awkward to use. When we've done them all, I will do a little roundup video showing you the best way to actually use them as a set. For the time being, Dana here, good card. Great effect. I just don't know if it's going to be too awkward. But remember, 
It doesn't have to be good now. This can be good in a year's time or right before it rotates out. This is a card that you need to keep because one day this card could be phenomenal. As it stands, I don't think I'm going to be putting it in any of my decks because I just don't see enough stage twos around. Sad face. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. So tell me what you think about this over in the comment section. Go nuts, but please do remember the rule. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do make sure you're checking out my other channel, Wasi Plays, for Dragon Ball, Transformers, Keyforge, and whatever else looks fun action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.